Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. Okay, are you rolling? I always have to check. You've always made that classic podcast snafu. Anyway, um, welcome, guys. Uh, I just want to start this one off before we get into you guys being here. I just want to say, uh, to, what's today's date? The s- 17th? July july 17th it's a sunday oh, anyway it's, it's fucking yeah. sunday uh i just went off I, i've been going a little on tangents on my instagram recently and uh you know my bad for being lame but uh I, you know i think i'm allowed one every five years i've been doing stand-up and i don't think it was that for someone like me i don't think it was that offensive and uh that's all i have to say about that you, you guys like forrest gump I do. Oh. I'm a big, big fan. <laughs> actually, the other day, I actually started thinking that I want to make Forrest Gump 2 after AIDS. Oh, <laughs> and just like everything AIDS on. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, yeah. But you can go everywhere it's with like it. like the invention you know I mean? of hip-hop. Like, he's at a concert, and he just starts, ro- like, bopping his head, and they're like, oh, you get it. He's like, I love the beat. And then <laughs> they have, like, a picture of him at Run DMC yeah. doing the, it's straight to rock yes. around. He's, and he's at, like, a toga party, and he gets, like, this crazy war helmet on, and he's like, come on, friends, let's run. And that's January 6th. You know what I'm saying? He's like, crazy how that happens. I was run. I, I, a man was talking. Next thing I knew, I was storming the Capitol. <laughs> and then they could just cut to that scene from Philadelphia story where he's got AIDS. No, you don't, you don't get to do <laughs> the whole canon of Tom and then, he's on, and then he's on an island with AIDS. <laughs> so yeah, no, before I get... Anyway, guys. His new me, show, Waste Away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You had me at AIDS. Oh, so versus yeah. the white blood cells. <laughs> <laughs> he has a forest lump on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I used to be a teacher back when I wasn't in the war. <laughs> now Flat I have line. AIDS. <laughs> like, uh-huh. same, wow, he's really incorporated all his he's, roles. He put it all in there. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Some, huh. bu- some black guy's head just explodes next to him and he gets blood on it and he starts crying. Captain Phillips. Anyway. Oh, I thought um, you were going to say that was, that was monkey pox. Oh. I, was like, oh. I was like, which history lesson are we doing here? Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He ties his shoe on and he like, doesn't realize it's on George Floyd's neck. He's like, oh, oh, oh no. no. Look what I did. I My was... bad. <laughs> Mama. They're all put, yanking him in the... Yeah. I was running. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and the cop said, stop it. I didn't. <laughs> Not yeah. breathing. Oh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Starting off hot, dude. No. Uh, yeah. So that message you put on Instagram yeah, was it, bad. Yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. I wanted. I no, covered that up quick. I point. wanted to get that out of the way. I said that's all I have to say about I that. I know. But I'm a very like, simple man. It wasn't even something bad. I just said what I said. I deleted it. Shout out to Chris from Brooklyn for reaching out. Uh, every other comic that reached out, but you know he's he's the most famous. So you know where you nice. Go. Yeah. Hell yeah. And um, guys. If you don't recognize those voices, uh, we have my man, Dave Hintz, right here. I thought you forgot his name. Yeah, I, I did, too. Yo, I, was I almost did for a hot second. I was like, I know it's Hintz. <laughs> God damn it. I've met you a million times. I was just, That's I'm awesome. high. That's fucking Shit great. Shit runs out of my mind. And, of course, the infamous uh, Pat Oates. OG yeah, Dave was the one who suggested the Forrest Gump movie, in case you don't know the voices yet. <laughs> well, so, I wrote, I wrote a sketch in my head once where, you know how... Forrest Gump goes to the fucking... He's at the bus stop the whole time. Yeah, he loves but the yeah. bus stop. Yes, but it's not a realistic bus stop. I want him to be at a realistic bus stop. Like, <laughs> the only realistic thing... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a homeless guy yeah. jerking off in the yeah. corner. Excuse me. And he's like, get the fuck away from me, motherfucker! <laughs> and he's just yelling in his face and throws his suitcase across the road. And he goes and gets it. And then he eventually, like, that happens a bunch. But then he eventually asks a sane man sitting next to him, he's like, excuse me, man, do you know a woman named Jenny? And they're like, Jenny? I know that bitch, Jenny. She sucks everybody's dick. It's just like everything gets worse and worse to the point where he... 
rages out and starts he kill, should, beating someone up. He should talk to the guy. Do you know Jenny? And it's the guy who gave Jenny AIDS. Hey. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want yeah, to don't don't talk to, to her. <laughs> what, what? I gave her AIDS. What'd you give her? Retard? <laughs> 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 Raids. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, she owes me money. Where is she? <laughs> she owes us money for crack. Because <laughs> yeah, that's how she was. Like you think so. And the only realistic thing about that bus stop in the original is the black woman who sits next to him, who's just like, "Get the fuck away from me!" <laughs> oh, I thought you just meant that there was the black. Woman. Oh no, no. Right she just like, ignores <laughs> him, and then is sort of nice to him. She's like, "I gotta go. Um, thanks uh, for rambling at me, <clears throat> retard." And she goes off. <laughs> She does, she says it. I mean, yeah. yeah by the way, at that bus stop on the ground, there were no nips. Yeah, like, where were the empty? No nips? heroin needles. There was nothing. There no used condom. It, yeah, there it, wasn't one weird guy who will walk, quietly would walk over and tap you and go, "Is the bus late? Yeah. Do you know if the bus is late? Glasses. Is the bus late? Why is it? Where's the bus? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I look at my phone and I look at it. And go, yeah. It says it should be here a couple minutes. It probably runs late. It's gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. I'm like, yeah. well, maybe get a fucking car. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe take your meds today and learn how to read the schedule. Or better than afterwards when the bus comes, he doesn't get on the bus. And two. Well, he's what do you just, just keep a score? He's looking for whoever doesn't pay attention to him the most so he can follow them and kill them yeah. later. There's some asshole with a bicycle. Yeah, I'm going to get on the bus. <laughs> yeah, and they put it. Yeah, they put it on the front to make you wait. <laughs> you have wheels. Yeah, just keep going. Yeah, you're supposed to be fit. I know. I just did, I started doing my own bit. But uh, point to me. No, I didn't mean to. But in the middle, of, I do a bit about people on wheelchairs getting on buses. So when I said that has wheels, Dave stared to be like, "Don't do your bits." I, I, <laughs> no, that was just that was a recognize. I see. I know. Attack me. Attack. I bike now and. It's weird because I'm I'm healthier than I've ever been. Just because I've been biking. Say, you more. look like I haven't seen you maybe in like three four years, oh, and you look you. like you're not dying. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I know yeah. most comics age poorly. <laughs> poorly. You are, well. You when I met you, you I've got you've got gotten better. much better. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's true. Was, I didn't even think you were that bad when I met you. It's just when Dave first yeah. knew me, my, my drunken bloated oats is the greatest though. Like that was the one that just hated everyone. <laughs> I was so angry, but then people had to like me because I was booking things. So that was like weird. Because now that I like myself, everyone hates me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's like, that's how it works, dude. It's so funny because I got I, I've been biking and I'm thinner than I've ever been. That's what I want to be. I'm where I want to be weight wise. And the most people who see me now, they're like, are you okay? You're skinny. Yeah. Chris here was like, you gotten skinny, pussy. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I man. wasn't even this thin in prison. Yeah, I was like, you know, like, come on. He's black. And I was like, the fuck, man? <laughs> I like that you're like, make sure you have your headphones on. You can't miss this. <laughs> you can't miss the drops. Shout out to Chris I Sear, like though. that you knew exactly what button that I was. I know. There's only four of them. Oh, all so, right. You know. I love Chris here. Every Jeff. time a booker yeah. is like, hey, we're doing a show for prisoners. Do you know Chris here? No. <laughs> I know Chris here. Do you need anyone else besides Chris here? <laughs> okay. Oh, he rules, dude. Every time I hear Chris Sears, vo- uh, Chris Sears' name mentioned, the first thing I think of is that other dude, Richard Sears, with the fucked up hand. Oh, the claw. So when Richard, you would, so in my mind, when you tell a story about Richard Sears calling you a pussy, like, ah. <laughs> you pussy, I have a hand problem. <laughs> You're complaining about Instagram. I got you with a strong hand. <laughs> dude, another person who reached out on Instagram, shout out to Chris He, he didn't Appreciate reach out. It. Well, he called me, he oh, said, yeah, Richard no, 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 he, did, he reached out, be terrified, yeah. dude. That's classic scene for Scary Chris is a wonderful guy. He doesn't want that out there because no, of his rep, but he's one of the nicest guys. He's, he's very nice. supportive of a guy, and he's funny as fuck. So. Bad father, but, you know. Awful. I'm just kidding. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. If he listens to this, he's going to be like, God damn it, Sally. I liked you right until then. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Chris here. Um, so what's up, guys? How's life? How old are you guys? How's life and collect, collectively? <laughs> wow. How's life and how old are you? What, are you trying to fuck? Like, what is going on? Because you got me. You had me at AIDS. Woo! It's like... I don't have AIDS. Do, I, am I supposed or to really answer that? Never mind. I don't know. I had nowhere to go. Okay, well, how old I'm are rocking. you? I'm 30. I just turned 30. Okay, well, then you don't look okay. as good as I thought you did. Damn! Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> Damn! You're the first one to lie to, to be truthful about that, maybe. I'm <laughs> older than everyone in this room. I, mm. I don't know yeah, Dave's but exact name, but not by much. I'm 47. Okay, I'm 40. Oh, okay. See, Three? I look fucking good for 47. You do. I didn't think you were 47. Yes, most people don't because of my immaturity and my jokes. Well, Dave yeah, has my a vampire thing going on. And so how poor I am. Yeah. <laughs> you and If you and Dave Sheehan were hanging out, at the, uh, talk about inside talk. God damn it. You and Dave Sheehan, yep. opposite sides of the vampire looking spectrum right there. Yeah, I'd like <laughs> to think that I, I'm so the wait, vampire. So wait, is Dave the, the hot one? 
Which, no, Dave. Because there's be the opposite hot. sides. Wait, wait, wait. Could you could you be more specific with which Dave? Because <laughs> is Dave the hot one? As you Hintz. sit right next Hintz to me, is the hot. No, has to no. be the hot one. I I, I think look at his like, hair. I've always called Dave Sheehan Dave hair. Sheehan. I've never called him Dave. Yeah, he's always been Dave Sheehan. For this audio podcast, look at Dave Hintz's hair. Google him on Instagram. Uh, or if you remember, oh, if, you if you remember a couple of years ago, if you were watching like the lotto balls go up and down for like five minutes, Dave was the guy yeah, in charge of the lotto balls. I did that. So like, when really you would did. watch the, yep. the, before the news, where it'd be like, "Here's the numbers," Dave be the asshole. So if you remember the blonde, <laughs> the, the blonde <laughs> AIDS looking guy. Yep, that, that was it. Dave. that was really, you was really that was, did that, that was yeah. legit my job. What what happened? Why aren't you doing that all the time now? Uh, I, I was <laughs> because I was like, "Oh, this is getting the way of comedy. I can't do it." <laughs> 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 Five minute gig of ball. Yeah. I was about to say, dude. Yeah, you get you. That didn't get you booked. You're like, I'm the ball guy. Yeah, I'm the ball guy. Like, I can check, get you guys spots on the ball. <laughs> you have a type five. You show the five. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> because his demographic was 85 year old women whose husbands I, died three years ago. I fucking kill with them. Did you ever meet Anderson Cooper? Uh, no, dude. It was local, dude. I didn't get to meet anyone. Oh, this cool. isn't even a. This, no, yo, this yeah, was no, like this on is, like this is local TV. Like you were yeah. going to watch like eight o'clock. I thought whatever. this was like well, the fucking do. one in the Times Square ball. No, no, no but this I is like it comes on and then they like here's Frazier. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, yes. <laughs> Baby, I hear the blues are calling, and now the lottery. Mm. Dave and I used to do a podcast together called Podophiles. Yes, and we did. Dave was like, hey, um, we, I just can't promote it much because of my lottery ball gig. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> oh, it's the lottery ball. Wow, I'm thinking three... I'm wow, way off and high. I'm thinking like the New Year's drop ball. Oh, you thought he was Dick Clark? Yes. Oh my God, I would never quit that. Why the that's, fuck would I quit a job? I work one day a year. Why what would you drive me to gigs? Dude, that's why I was so confused. I'm like, you really gave it up for that airtime oh had to pay so, like just more than any of us make. All right, here we are year. in New Year's Rockin' Ease, America. You know him as the guy who drives bad oats to gigs. Here he is, Dave Hintz. A month ago, he opened for me in someone's backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and he was nervous. It was. Oh, man, dude. Uh, this is what happens for What's smoking. funny is right before the podcast, I was like, hey, it's not like your podcast, Pat. We're not going to do comedy talk. And then, boom, you've dropped every fucking name. Yes. It's you've done Dave, it all. I've done the Daves. I've done the Chris's. <laughs> and what are you going to do? Who I'm else trying do you know to. in comedy? Right. <laughs> No man, the uh, who was the fattest comic you ever met? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you do. This is what happens when you smoke, man. And, Actually, and you run a you were off. Oh, all right. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. No, but you gotta name people. At least someone knows. Oh, all right. Mommy. Um, <laughs> but yours was meaner than mine. I like him. I, I've oh, yeah. never met him, but I oh, like. He, him. It's not like you're like someone's like shh. He's thin. Like no, it's oh. he, he's four hundred and ten pounds. Yeah, Wow, he's a big guy. That's the most pounds. That yeah. he should bike. He'd lose it quick. Bike. That bike was fine. <laughs> Imagine coming back if you, if you believe in like evolution like that. I was Hitler. Now I'm rolling off the bike. <laughs> uh, the uh, it looks like one of the. Uh, you, have you ever seen Wedding Crashers when he makes the kid the bike? Yeah, that's yeah. what the bike looks like after. Because it's anyway. I'm it's, waiting for your hit. A, drop, a stretch. A drop that goes. Fat people are gay. Or whatever. Hey, that's I got some. You know what? Real talk. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the, that's uh, when I was listening to. Rose when they do the Dude, it parks. made me so mad when so anyone shout out to Joe Rogan, but he watches <laughs> the real talk video and I'm like two you're stealing my bit. Not really, no. Two episodes in a row they watched it with real the midget talk. coming out. Yeah, oh, <laughs> and they watched yeah the coming out of the closet, yeah. which is if you've never seen that, guys, get, get high or do anything. Honestly, you can watch it sober. It will at one point you make you too white. You never seen. You never seen get uh, R. Kelly's coming out of the closet. No, I'm trapped in the trapped in the closet. Trapped That's what it's called. The, the coming out of the closet. So, is yeah, yeah. Documentary. so part, I'd say like <laughs> <laughs> it's the Pete Angelo story. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, more news. <laughs> but um, he, the first like one or two episodes are like uh, coherent. To the where you're like, all right, this could happen. This is a story that might happen to some man who's cheating with a woman and he hides in her closet. That and you know the guy comes home. That might happen, dude. It goes from like that to they end up at other people's places. There's midgets in those people's but closets. Better, in the song, he just goes, "They come in the closet. You're not gonna believe it. It was a midget. <laughs> it's just, but it's, it's not a comedy. Like it's a serious song. Dead ass like, serious. Yeah. <laughs> Any fucking yeah." Midget. Same thing like with that. Real Talk, it's the song. Real Talk. If it's, you ever, it's about R. Kelly? Yeah, who knows, dude? Yeah. What? It's his story. 
I mean, he I wrote it. That, Real Talk is definitely about R. Kelly. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what we're talking about. Real I thought it was like a documentary about, like, oh, no. oh I'm thinking of no. surviving R. Kelly. No, that's, that's why I'm that's the, up. That's about his uh, yeah, that's molesting. About the, yeah. no, the difference Which, is we named all adults in our thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a child's <laughs> age. Yeah. yeah. What? No, he, yeah, he wanted that. Believe that. The, um, but the real talk one is just him complaining about a girl accusing him of cheating and his responses. You don't even hear the girl right. talking. It's just him being like, you got to let me finish before... Bitch, I wish you would burn my motherfucking clothes. Like it's just, like, it's yeah. awesome, dude. Oh, he just, at he one rules. point, he just goes, how would you even know I was at the club? Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Because you was there too, bitch. Like, he rules. I'm still confused. So he, is it, it's is just it a old show videos or so is he singing? Ago. It's videos from a long time and, ago, and dude, they, Don't worry. It's odd, and they're uh, still weird to listen to, but though, specifically real talk, you know he's talking to, I feel like he's talking to a, gr- a grown woman in that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because he'd be like, and then you miss recess. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, anyway, uh, shout out to, I like the drop I use, but uh, I'm not a fan of his actions, clearly. Oh, is that, a, is that a disclaimer? I yes. also <laughs> not a fan of also R. Kelly. Also not a molester, just so <laughs> you guys know. I'm a fan know. of his musical work, not his other like, work. Like, listen, I've, I've, I've owned two Bill Cosby albums. Yeah, hell yeah. But I, I hate his other... I, I like his body of work, but I hate his work on bodies. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to word if, it right. If Honestly, I could find Cosby reruns, I'd still watch him. I, I'm consistent. The rape ones? <laughs> no, no, no. His earlier... Se- like season poorly. one, season two. <laughs> I've never gotten... I can never... I was never a fan of Bill Cosby, even as a kid. So, yeah. I get I'm that very though. Yeah. When I, I was when, a kid raised yeah. on that, yeah. where, mm. this is going to sound fucked up, but like it really was like this way America was. It was the black family allowed in the white home. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. literally, the, the Cosby show, the Huxtables were the ones like, see, they're good people. And, like, <laughs> like that's how everybody acted. Like, so if he sold something on TV, yeah. you're like, oh, it's okay to have okay, that. America's yeah. dead, Even right? if a black guy has a pudding pop, it's okay. We can yeah. share it. Because Cosby likes it. And he likes to pull pants on. That was, like, the origin of, I have black friends, the Cosby. Mm. Yeah. I watch black TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, you, not BET. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch. I, I'm not racist. I watch the Cosby's. It was that was before. The Did you know blacks have their own I'm porn mag? The, cra- the, f- <laughs> <laughs> the National funniest- Geographic? Like, no, Pat, that's wrong. The funniest thing is not even funny. It's not, but I get annoyed <laughs> with the like when people are like, "Oh, I bet you you're gonna say you have black friends is a reason you're not racist," and it's like. Yeah, that's actually though is a reason I'm yeah, not racist. Well, how is, how <laughs> that's why I am racist. You know, what? it is why I'm racist. I've hung out with black people and it, it made me yeah. not like everyone else but them, <laughs> but the and ones I hang out what? with. David Duke, I understand. Yeah, dude, I, you know I get it. I, no, it's just so that shit pisses me off. That is well, so, so annoying. So then, how do you? Oh, by the way, because we see that other thing real, real quick. Oh, I, I, I really it. am not racist. Yeah, I thought we were doing that after every bit. Oh no, I, I, I like them. I hate whites. <laughs> dude, so and I hate whites. I got white friends. I think the I way don't. to be like, yeah, not I anymore. think the way to be like, if someone's like, you're racist, be like, uh, no, nah, I'm not. No, <laughs> just go by. No. <laughs> no. Hey, you're racist. No, no, man. I don't nah. think so. Just say no. Nah, I don't are. think so. I'm we need to talk fine. more about Forrest Gump and AIDS. Oh, we could. Yeah, I got off. The, we Who booked Forrest Gump? <laughs> <laughs> like, why Z- would you? Zemerick, so. Why would Lieutenant Dan? That, that was a terrible actor. He had that guy had legs. <laughs> Gary Sinise, yeah. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's an abling thing. Like, you really book somebody with no legs. There's good no leg actors out there. You'll you'll know this. I mean, uh, uh, Forrest Gump. He. Tom Hanks isn't retarded. <laughs> Fuck you, he isn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. You seen his son? <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> remember when, remember, <laughs> yeah. remember when the beginning of COVID where he's like, I'm their leader? And then they, it went away real quick. Dude, he was, honestly, his, his son was so funny during all that where he would be like, he would just make fun. He would like troll his dad and everyone else at the same time. You know, his, his son's pretty funny. I his like son him. is the Hunter Biden we want. Yes. Not the Hunter Biden we deserve. <laughs> Dude, that, those videos are crazy, too. I don't know if you've seen them. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God, yes. Dude, out of every single kid, uh, what, the politician's kid, this is the wildest, right? Like, the Bush twins no, no. did nothing like no, this. No, no. They got a little drunk at some bars, I heard. There have been brothers it, of presidents that were crazy, like Clinton's brother, yeah. or was it Roger, whatever, was like a mm. drunk and crazy person and stuff like that, but never, and all the Kennedys, but like, but if you never and ever was there a guy who was just on crack. I was filming it. <laughs> Every time I watch a new Hunter video, I'm like, this is the best advertisement for wanting to do drugs yeah. ever, because he... He's always in some cool place, yeah, like just real. about to get laid or had gotten yeah. laid, and yeah. he's just like, "Yeah, let's just do more drugs." And like, he just looks at the camera and he's like, 
Ooh, yeah. he just, does, <laughs> like, just takes deep breaths and just smokes crack and it's like, yeah. I want Hunter Biden real talk. Like, I want yeah. that video. <laughs> the other thing, too, dude, like, for someone who smokes crack a lot, he he ha- he wears it well, right? Yeah. You see him? Like his, he, looks he, great. He, he looks he looks healthy. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? He looks so like, did Whitney Houston. Even look yeah, at the yeah. end of that. Mm. Black doesn't crack or black does crack. Like it's <laughs> not but, but Hunter, Hunter Biden just looks like he's been tanning way too much. Yeah. That's it. And he's yeah. he's a little gristled. He looks like a like for a politician skit, if he showed up to party, everyone be like, "Who's this badass?" Like, yeah. well, just because everyone there's a fucking square. If you just you know. showed people pictures of Hunter, like they had no idea who it was, and you just showed them pictures of Hunter Biden, and like, what's his secret? Crack. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let me ask. He looks like a question. Florida resident. There's like, a real question: Is is Joe Biden? Senile, or is he the best dad ever? Do you think Bolts. he falls off a bike and snips <laughs> kids? So every time a hunter has a video come out, he goes, "I gotta distract him somehow." Yeah, and he yeah. falls off a bike, or he sniffs a child, or well, he yells "corn pop." Well, well, he, he did can't that. Keep it up. Well, actually, the videos have come out now. I don't think he's even doing any of that yet. They're they're completely. Fo- I feel like the real people in the world are are focusing on the videos. Obviously, right. the media is ignoring yeah. him because you know he's a darling. Well, they're good memes. It's they're hilarious. Tremendous. Memes. So Rob, Robbie Bernstein, another inside. He's been using them for his ads for his porch tour show. Fucking hilarious. He'll just put out like a video, a f- picture of Biden. It'll be like, Hunter wants you to come to the the porch. I've it's known so Rob since, funny. since he started when he was just like a young guy hustling in Connecticut. And would just go up to New York and like I think either intern or do stuff with Dave and yeah, he was just skank stuff like that. So I got to know him when because he would come with them whenever they did shows. Hell yeah, great dude. Robbie rules. Yeah. It's good to see that he's doing what he likes to do. Yeah. That's a thing where he could have just gone to the mainstream and just done all the fucking regular comedy shit. But he's like, no, I like talking about this. I have this level. Yeah. And he found his window. That's what I want to... Yeah, he inspires me. Him and, like, anyone in that universe really inspires me to do that shit. Because that's what, like, as much as I want to be, like, a touring everywhere comedian I just I'm kind of realistic about it so I'm like I know I'm gonna have to just gather a, f- a fan base of ruffians before anyone takes uh, me seriously you know what I mean so especially this that's why I hope yeah. people listen to this and will you know share it around for it but they're like know. well we didn't like the racist sidekicks he had on that one <laughs> but he's a good guy I, I mean I, I, I play well with ruffians yeah I have a pretty I, I don't know if you got I put a whole like disclaimer before so if you're in this deep <laughs> It's on you. Yeah. Honestly, if you listen to the disclaimer and then go forward, it's on you. I have no, I have no um, uh, sympathy for anyone or any. I, I don't. I'm not going to explain. <laughs> Just myself cutting that it's, out by yeah. itself. Is the <laughs> what was Alex's statement on that? The terrible I school no shooting. I have no sympathy <laughs> for anyone. For anyone. <laughs> <laughs> he pauses. <laughs> Might be the name of the episode. Dude. Oh man. He's got to put a couple dots in there though. I have no sympathy. Sympathy dot, dot, dot. For, for anyone. anyone. <laughs> 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 oh man, uh, that should be your opening to your act. I just might not dude. say hi. I have no sympathy, I have no sympathy for anyone. For anyone. <laughs> and then first bit. What's up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you like what do you you like movies? <laughs> <laughs> have you? Your I, my favorite thing I ever because I do I come at if, if I if I'm feeling it I do try to come at the ladies and, and from out of left field. So that's like, why you two should get along. But when you both are feeling it on stage, you should attack women. <laughs> yo, it's it's so much fun. <laughs> you I don't attack do. them. I just go, hey, yo, uh, what up? Twi- like one time, one time, <laughs> you know so that classic. Bit. I went for a rip. I, I was screaming at um two open micers for talking during my set. And it was at, it was in like a packed room at an open mic, and there were so I hate saying this, but civilians there. There's a bunch of chicks, and I went off on these two comments. I was like, Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to make these sluts talk over here, right. and laugh. And and they all, everyone laughs. Everyone's having a good time. And I go do a bit, and then I turn back and I go, ah, so how are you sluts doing tonight? And everyone laughs, and some of them like didn't make don't, two of them like didn't move one of them laughed and the third fourth one went good <laughs> Dude, and everyone just everyone heard it and just started laughing it, it made dude I, I'm not gonna lie if you know like you can go back in time and people are like I would go back in time and save Hitler it's like I would just go back <laughs> you, to go back that, in time you might want to change that, that you, and, say, no. you just said you'd save Hitler oh not yeah, save Hitler <laughs> oh god damn it dude, that's awesome <laughs> not save Hitler kill Hitler <laughs> oh, you back in time kill Hitler save people on 9-11 you know, warn them about 9-11 there's a disclaimer at the beginning of the podcast <laughs> that clearly says I can save Hitler if I want to I, I have a whole list I'd save Hitler I'd be a flight attendant welcoming yeah, people yeah. on the 
I'm boarding 9-11. Yeah. Uh, this, is a f- this flight's going to rule. <laughs> Your this first is- album better be called Saving Hitler. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me tell you about this new ship, the Titanic. You yeah. got it. Yeah. Yeah. Amelia Earhart, you're going to be in history for going across and making it. You're going to make it, gal. Mein Kampf, boy. Our Kampf. Our other ones. Uh, uh, Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Oklahoma City? Visited on that day. I don't yes. remember the fucking bottom. You know, you'll have anyway. better visibility from the book repository. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't even go back to like, you know, great sex night. It would just be that, that moment of being like, that's also affirming pretty- that it worked to call a woman. I would go back in time and then make a bunch of 9 11 merch for 9 11 the afternoon. You know what I mean? Like, right when it's just like it happened and it was sad, I have a big cart and I be pushing like an amount of yeah. they parade. You get way ahead. Selling 9 11 merch in Toby Keith. <laughs> I buy stock in Toby Keith. Yo, so fucking hard. Never forget merch. Yeah. Right. I, went to, I went to New York and all I got is mesothelioma. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> and it, I got, that that plane didn't mesothelioma yeah. that yeah. building. I'll tell you that. So. We just got. Cu- I, I went to New York and all I did was get covered in ash. <laughs> Jesus, it's horrible. The um, the uh, I remember being a youth and being annoyed with how much like. I just being inundated with the like never forget and God bless America right. and uh, it, I just I remember turning on the radio and being like yo every commercial has this in it like this is insane yes. we're donating our money to the the, the first responders and it didn't seem like a lot of that got to them now does it no, no. I think we kind of change our opinion about first yeah. responders now yeah right yeah. right it's gotten weird anyway listen if it doesn't work <laughs> with women reminding men about their anniversary it's not gonna work with a tragedy we're always gonna forget you know what I mean no matter what oh man dude it's brutal the world's brutal it's the worst it's within the worst thing ever of two things falling down goes together either my marriage with my wife or 9-11 I'm not gonna remember okay <laughs> Uh, oh, I should not without, have without that, we wouldn't have Pete Davidson's comedy career, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, 9 11. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I thought you meant without you divorcing your wife. I didn't didn't get the reference, but all right. You know, a lot of kids say they got sent home. Uh, I didn't. That really, that was worse to me at the time. Remember earlier in the show when you asked how old we were? You're proving it right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got sent home. I I was selling Budweiser. (laughs) Um, And I actually was in a a New Haven, in Fairhaven, the Nike section of New Haven, in an Indian-owned package store, and it was on Howard Stern Radio when it was happening. And the Indian guy looks at me and goes, Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and I always remember that because he was like, "My yeah. life changed right now for the next couple yeah. years." I, I was actually, oddly enough, I went because apparently people said that's like a crazy time capsule to listen to. So I went back and listened to it, yep. and I'm, I haven't listened to much of it just because I got depressed and bored. But <laughs> I was like, apparently on it. Apparently, don't people call in and are like, "These fuck?" They get like really yes. racist with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, better. And this is a fun thing. <laughs> better. <laughs> Connecticut's own Vinnie Penn, who was a radio personality and sometimes comedian kind of hack yeah. he was sitting in the Artie Lang chair that day oh. he, dude when we booked him at Joker's Wild years later in his bio it says I was part of the highest rated Howard Stern oh, show all time scumbag. but he doesn't write 911 <laughs> that's fucking that's great l- fucking crazy dude <laughs> I announced 911 holy shit oh, dude that's why yeah man dude imagine no. Dave did the lotto balls for 911 like well <laughs> uh, <laughs> nine <laughs> uh, well, oh no <laughs> it's not a conspiracy folks <laughs> one <laughs> damn dude oh fuck <laughs> that is fucking wild no oh, oh, man dude. dude anyway guys is that the worst day ever you know, what, no. pulling nine one one on lottery. No, no, I don't no, think no, so. Really, like I know we treat it as like you can't even make fun of it, so you were allowed to go do other stuff. But like, is that the worst day ever? For, I'd say in well, recent American history, yeah. yes, that is but our worst not, day. That's not fair because that's like, it, is that the worst day ever for everyone? No, for not the, at all. For a lot of people, yeah. But like, there are people. There's who, hurricanes like, that rack up that shit. Well, what about yearly? the day you have right. to put down your dog? No, that's yeah, a shitty day. Pers- that's what I was saying. Personally, yeah, absolutely, on a personal not, not even close. 
Not even. I remember. But imagine 9/11. if you put down your dog on oh, by 9/11. using 9/11. <laughs> <laughs> like you're like, well, I've heard. I got a rumor that this building's going down, and I don't want to pay the vet, so I'm gonna put that dog in that tower, and oh, they'll take Christ. care of itself. You're sitting in the vet's Let's office watching the towers yeah, yeah. come down. The vet comes out and goes, "Boy, your day's about to get worse." <laughs> <laughs> but imagine if you were one of the kids in that classroom while George Bush was reading you a story. Like that's your shit forever. Yeah, forever like dude. you're like, where were you? It's like I was with George. <laughs> Bush. I, I watched George Bush w- f- hear that 9-11 happened and then be like, <laughs> finish the book. All right, I'll do the book, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, what else? Could you, that's kind of like, what are you supposed to do? You know what I mean? It's well, like, you can't miss the ending. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Yeah, this little duck uh, lap changed forever. Uh, he couldn't go through airports the same after this. And, the, kid, uh, the kid comes home to his dad who's drunk and doesn't listen. He works like hard shifts, so he doesn't even know 9-11 happened. And the kid's like, and dang, George Bush told us everyone's going to die. Like, shut the fuck up. Go to sleep. I'm tired of your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What was it like? Well, suddenly no one gave a fuck about the pokey little puppy anymore. Yeah, Dick dude. Cheney's really in charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I don't know. I also think, I mean, not, and this is an unpopular thing, but I think. We I should mean, all save Hitler. No, no. 9 11 <laughs> sucks. Don't get me wrong. 9 11 blew, but like. Yeah, that's an unpopular The COVID opinion. shit is what, in my opinion, is more, has had more of an effect on most people's lives. That's what lives. I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah. I was like, the day that we were all told you couldn't leave your fucking house. Yeah, yeah. that got Is that weird. scarier than 9 11? I wouldn't say scarier. It got. You know what was scarier? When they told you that people were dropping dead. And you and th- and they shut down jobs so that yeah. people wouldn't die. To, dude, as someone whose job never shut down, that first like week or so when they were like, people are dying, you should stay home, and then you could still go to work for like what I was doing. It was weird. Yeah, it, driving because I yes. drove. It yep. was driving. You, you had no traffic. Yeah, everything was closed. You couldn't get breakfast. It was weird, dude. It well, felt the like the difference between nine eleven and COVID hunts. is yeah. they both had the "what the fuck is going on" factor. But one was what's going on to those people. Yeah, and the other was what's going to happen to all of us. Yeah, me, exactly. You know? Exactly. It, it, it was way more personal. So I'd say that's a little more high ranked, and a lot of people. Whether you, you know, huh, uh, <laughs> did die. So there's that. Because, you know, I, I don't trust. I'm not saying people didn't die from COVID. I'm just saying the government lies. And uh, they've clearly been lying for like a lot 9/11, of this. Like 9 so. I got There's a lot about 9 11, too. Let's throw that out right, there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, got two day, I got two days off from work with 9 11, which was nice. I My comedy career kind of ended because of COVID. <laughs> like, my lineup was full for the year. I was performing everywhere. Yeah. I had all this shit lined up. I was supposed to have a pilot for Compound Media. All these things yeah. were happening. I was at part time radio. Was he moving up? And then now I, I got fired from a fucking retail job, and I'm doing a podcast with you two motherfuckers, yeah, yeah, yeah. hoping that young people hear this and book me at a fucking <laughs> Thursday night show that booked by 12 people in West Harvard. I was gonna say I thought you were gonna say on 9-11 your comedy career bomb <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was when everything was supposed to take off and it <laughs> took off it took right off, right. it took off I was working the third floor that night <laughs> <laughs> oh man dude oh, fuck. anyway um did you guys hear about I don't know any progression in this did you guys hear about the teens that beat that old man to death with a cone no like a traffic yeah, cone yeah video <laughs> No, that I couldn't. Wait, Yo, with a traffic cone? Yeah, I, I don't that's know. That's imp- that's that, hard to hear. Right, that's someone a, with. It, it was like set, how was like rubbery was that man? Yeah. That's what I, dude. That had dude, to be bones. Must have been dust. No yeah. bones. And they really have had to have <laughs> really laid into him with it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they had to, it could have just been one hit. Obviously. And they say kids aren't committed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they also, that's the thing too. They're like kids aren't outside. It's like these kids they're were outside. outside. <laughs> have you seen those kids when they were punching Asian people? They were outside the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> they were fucking punching the shit out. They were never inside. I don't even know if I, I'm sh- I think the old man was just an old white dude. Well, who but, were the kids? Yeah, what were they? Mm, I mean, Always doing quotes. <laughs> were they hardworking Americans? He's black. I don't mean to be. <laughs> I like that you don't even have to look and see what button it is. I like no look. Wait, is it this button? Ooh, He's classic. black. <laughs> Who is that woman? <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's Livia Soprano. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, Teenage boy and 14 charged with murder and will be tried as adults. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, so they're 14, so they weren't really. Is that what R. Kelly oh would say to those women? <laughs> well, they try it as adults. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's my new thing for pedophiles. <laughs> but I, you, you know, do you know what she was? She tried as an adult. <laughs> but she's only eight. Wow, dude. They only, okay, so this, I have a new bit, by the way. Dude, um, they only hit him two or three times. This is Philly, so, you know. What do oh, these okay. other buttons do? We'll talk. There's that, and then... <laughs> Get if, away from there. No, I shouldn't be sorry. Oh, this is good. And I got news for you. That means you're gay. There's <laughs> <laughs> that one. And I then that the last one. Damn! Sluts. Yeah, that's a good one, sir. <laughs> Dave, he's trying to tell us a touching story about a man being beaten with a parking car. And I got news for you. <laughs> that means you're gay. Now Dave likes the buttons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm near him now. Dave's like, I thought that was just a voice in my head talking to me. <laughs> That's that's Ice T from uh, SVU. Nope, so. that's Dave staring in the mirror at his own <laughs> asshole when every morning when he wakes up. <laughs> Stop it in the butt. I want to hear about yeah. this. I want to hear about no, this. No, but yeah, they beat. Apparently, they beat this man two to three times. That's it. Only two to three times with the cone, and then he died from that's his injuries. That's less impressive. How old yeah, was he's he? Just, he's dead because he's a million. Not seventy-four. Because... How old was Yo, the cone? Yo, his name yeah, was how, fucking yeah, right? Camera. <laughs> His name is Gamera, like the fucking turtle, the Godzilla <laughs> like turtle. Gamara? Gamara. <laughs> you said he was white? <laughs> you His know, first um, name was Gamara? Oh, wait, no, that, sorry, G- Gamera is one of the murderers. Okay. Gamera is one of the rays. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a girl. <laughs> Mosley Lambert. Mo- Lambert, how old is Lambert? He's, well, he's 74, but oh, a 10 year old. It was hurt. It was. Wait, what? What? There's yeah, a 10 year old beat him up? A 10 year old and a 14 year old beat this man. Jesus. Oh my God. With a fucking. Oh, actually, wait, those no, aren't Sam. I, I just Yeah, that oh, can't be right. Wait, you just showed two yeah, honestly, pictures dude, of like so linebackers. The yeah, this is the guy and these are the children. And guys, on the Wait a minute, that's our. That's the girl. The second one's not a. That's, that's Russell Westbrook. Year. That's not a child. Who is that? <laughs> That's a fourteen-year-old. That he's the guy who and killed that guy. They. It looks like they. Is he, <laughs> is he got a cane? I'm sorry. That's hey, Alex, going out this story. <laughs> Alex starts off with they're all white, and it's like <laughs> I didn't say they were anything. I said I said I think the old guy was white, and, and it's he's the not. famous Amos Cookie guy. <laughs> he really is, dude. That got killed by two black children that don't yeah, have eyebrows. He really he. I don't, he looks like a smooth ass dude. That's all I can say. And sad yeah. he got beat to death by them. What the shit is he holding in his hand? Not a part of the cone. <laughs> it's probably, yo, honestly, it looks like he was walking past them and they were like, he's like, I ain't got time for you youngins today. And they were just like, fuck you. <laughs> I ain't got time for your TikTok challenge. Yo, for real. <laughs> to go dance around the cone somewhere else. Like, Grandpa, man. you better put water in your mouth and smack me. Like, we're not doing it. Or well, then you get in the cone. <laughs> Do they have a picture of the cone? <laughs> yeah, the cone was 38. <laughs> and it was oh, black, too. Man, it man. was just two days from retirement. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Get it tired, go no, to no, retirement. No, no. Oh, oh, hell that. yeah, dude. We're, we're, well, you know what? Aside from the that comedy talk, we're riffing it out, dude. We're, 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 we're doing, doing it. Yeah, besides yeah. that talk about comedy, we've covered... What we covered? Talk? AIDS, 9-11, <laughs> COVID. Cone, cone on cone color me murder. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. That's what I like. Uh, that's... Okay, wait. And I, this is fucked up. Did you get more interested in the story when it wasn't white people? Because I did. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because I'm like, they're not going to do it white. good. Yeah, yeah. No, they're not going to do it good. Mm, white murder is boring. Yeah, unless really? It, unless it's so, serial yeah, killer. Say, you either yeah. go 10 or 0. Yeah. Yeah. There's no in between. That is true. They get... They like run over somebody and then yeah. just try to hide them in like, their house. Later. Is either yeah. is either incredibly stupid or it's so ridiculous I mean. yeah, yeah. that it's, it's like, like all right. Yeah. Well, wait. Do you think Italians are white? Because <laughs> um, I don't. So okay. because of that, that's why. Because Italian murder is great. Like the fact that all well, Italian this is great children for me. Because <laughs> now I can say other things. <laughs> 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 Guess what I can call him? Hell yeah, according to Pat. Listen, according to me, anyone whose grandma hits you with a spoon, you're not white. Jesus. My grandma hit me with a spoon. Oh, you're, you're not white. You're, 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 oh, That's fucking he great. Is, he is. No, no, guys, it's okay. My parents did not Dave hit me. Looks they like mentally <laughs> fucked me up, but they did not hit me. Dave, Dave could pass his haunting both. somebody. All right? yeah, that's, He's yeah, white. It's true. They're like, I'd rather you stalk me while you were alive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, He's just that creep that goes boobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're cooking two guys. Hell yeah, dude! I thought cooking this two. Was... Wait, were they cooking crack? Is that no, what no. Doing? I think they were. Come on, they, they, come on. <laughs> oh, is that the one? <laughs> not. This is in the eighties. You brought the story. I up. did. That's yeah. Did you guys I hear did. about that man who got beat up with a cone? Like, no, no one's heard that. 
You're like an open mic comic. It's like, you all know about the comb beating, right? You're like, Dude, here's a five minute bit on it. F- oh, that's not the funniest shit. You know, when they say you know. You know about comb beating. <laughs> oh, you, this room don't know about comb beating's racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. If I said butt plugs, you would know, right, Mo Green? Anyways, mm. like, <laughs> that's because Mo's listening. Hi, Mo. Hey, shout out to Mo Green. Too. Wait, did you say hi, Mo? Hi, Mo. Not okay, Mo. He's just uh, sorry. <laughs> and I got news for you. <laughs> I mean, she yeah, gets. I, I think you have a new sidekick. You didn't realize that Dave's just going to work the buttons. Dave will just work uh, the buttons and laugh. I like Dave's laugh, too. It makes me thanks. feel... Dave's laugh has gotten me in more trouble in comedy than anything <laughs> in the world. Because Dave is the kind of guy that I'll go on stage with an idea and be, tell him in the car, and, he's, and he'll laugh like that. So it must be good. Because <laughs> no, I realize when not. no one else is laughing, it's the most terrifying, awful thing anyone's ever said. Oh, that like my, I had that pedophile joke yeah. about going to court, oh, yeah. and you were laughing like oh, that. So I, I went up with it with so much pride and was ready to go, and it's just Dave again <laughs> laughing as I'm saying. And I had already heard it. Yeah, yeah. I love it, dude. As, as me using the punchline, I'm not good at math. What's that, you kid, Dick? <laughs> and then Dave's doing that fucking laugh. Yeah. Uh, there, I, I miss. There used to be this dude called Leaf. He would come to open mics. And he looked like Hagrid. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember. Le- and, fuck. Yo, you could say fucking anything, and he would be like, Ooh! 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 and you would just sit there and be like, "Damn, I wish there I was a guy that. named Dan McCarthy who used mm-hmm. to be that for us too." And then he used to try to do comedy, and then we were doing an open mic in August at one time, and so I had him go up. And then when I went back up, I go, "Oh, you really notice when Dave's Dan's on stage? <laughs> He's usually only one guy's laughing." <laughs> And you need Dan I, to sit down and watch Dan. <laughs> Leaf, Leaf said after a show, he, after a mic to me, he said the nicest thing that just crushed me. Hmm. I was trying something, and uh, it, afterwards he comes up and goes, interesting concept. Now try and make it funny. Damn. <laughs> Who was this? Damn, it's just dude. this big fuck. I, he looked exactly like Was Hagrid. he a comic or just a lover no, of comedy? No, just a lover no, of comedy. Lovers, That's lovers. awesome. Yeah. That. That's, yo, I've had, I had a person come to me after a show, and he wasn't wrong, technically, but he was very, uh, like, too, too comfortable. He came up to me and was like, hey, man, uh, you just got to be more relatable. Like, all the shit you're saying, like, you just come off way too open. You, you just come up to people you just can't be doing that like you're too open and honest with people and I was like oh like how you're being with me right now <laughs> and he's like yeah man like I don't mean to be rude it's just like I enjoyed your set but like you can't be going up there and just like saying crazy shit like not everyone's like you and me not everyone can just take shit that they're just telling people when they first tell them and I was like oh so like if you know I don't know you so like if I was to say to you right now you're losing all your hair and I don't want to talk to you that would be <laughs> normal to you and he was like I mean, that's fucked up, but yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So he understood, and I was like, all right, cool. At least we're on the same page now. Like, the, you are, not to get the comments up, but my, my one battle with hecklers always when they want to talk afterwards, and they're like, mm. no, I just didn't agree with what you were saying. I go, well, when you talked back, I didn't agree with you. Yeah. So we're the same person. We're both saying shit the other one doesn't like, but I got paid to be here, and you paid to be here, so I win. Go home. Yeah, or just I, the thing about hecklers when they come up and are like, hey, sorry, I, I was just trying to help, yes. and you're like, oh, I love dude, that. I, I was like, yo, have you ever watched a comedy special? and seeing people like it, uh, a heckler like helping helping type thing it's just that it's like yo you're not helping dude. Yeah, we don't need like, to right. cuck this Dang. you know what I mean you, don't, yeah. you sit there and watch me fuck the audience no. I don't need you to get involved no I, I like fucking with them when we're wrong and if they they go away it's a fun thing but yeah it's like a fucking I, I yeah. did a show I did a show in a fucking bowling alley bar <laughs> hell yeah and afterwards at, yeah yeah <laughs> Shut afterwards up. this old lady <laughs> came up to me and she like she was like you know you gotta know your audience and she started giving me comedy advice it's like six months later I do another show She's there She comes up to me After that show And she's like So I guess you didn't listen <laughs> <laughs> Damn dude You know my thing has been too Because people always are like I think you're you sh-. I've had people be like You're offensive I don't, I don't think you should Try to work on this You should do this And I'll go what I do from now on as I go, you know what? You're right. And from now on, give me your number. I want to call you every time I write a joke because you're the expert on funny and you know everything that's funny and you've been doing this. I just give them like yeah. so many comments. Like, they're like, you're right. Yeah. yeah and some some people do. <laughs> are like, yeah, here's my number. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'll call you. And I just know. Right. Usually when the after shows of women do that to me, I end up dating them for two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because dude. I need that voice telling me. Because I'm feeling too confident and I'm like, that's not supposed to be. My parents don't me not to be confident, so I need I, someone to tell me I'm bad at home. I've had the opposite thing, dude. I, I, any girl I've dated is way too um, supportive, supportive or <laughs> delusional about my ability. Like I'm like, 
They'll watch me bomb and be like, I don't think you bombed that bad. I'm like, I fucking bomb. Shut Anyone up. Anyone I've ever dated was super supportive of it and like, that's how we met. Like, they mean them knowing I was a comic, except for one girl. I've told you about her, but yeah. like, she literally saw me at a show and said, I think you're really attractive. I don't find you funny in the slightest. You know, and I had to date I her. I disagree with this girl. Yes, this, I, yeah, I, I know. I, you know I'm, I'm the opposite with you. And you know what? That's why you're, you're allowed in my house. Hell yeah. And I got news for you. <laughs> that means she can. I'm okay with yes. that. I'm okay. Uh, but I was very upset by that so much that I had to date her. So I could convince her I'm funny And yeah. for months And it that didn't work And it's all the comics she liked Because she went to local shows mm. Were like the worst yeah. And I'm like Fuck you're doing Some this on purpose Who yeah. paid you? I yeah, did yeah, you... Damn Slots What are you going to do? But she has stillborn babies So I win <laughs> Now you do it <laughs> And I do that bit all the time on stage now <laughs> Yeah, um, I had a women who, uh, just have those, don't they? And they just move on. Well, I think everyone has them. <laughs> <laughs> has stillborn babies or babies? Uh, stillborn. I've met a few chicks. They who don't. Are like, they don't move. They on. don't. Yeah. Oh, they don't. No, they don't move on. Yeah. They have birthdays for it. <laughs> oh yeah. Have you ever seen those like oh, pictures God, of girls horrible. who are like laying next to them crying? And yeah. They're like, this is my stillborn. Well, that's the only one crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the doctor during, slaps the back But's yeah. like not into it oh. I mean yeah, during yeah. the day This baby's a downer But sleep is amazing yeah. He pats it to C He's like ah uh, Nope Did you put it down for an ass? Yeah once yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man dude Those are the those uh, look, dude. I, I know it's a heart wrenching moment, but if you put it on social media I, I, again, I do yeah. not feel sympathy for you. Yeah, <laughs> especially with the TikTok feel, video. It's like, oh my god! I like no, when jiggle, jiggle, it uh, folds. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I would totally volunteer. Be like, I'll, babe, if it gets up in the middle of the night, I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I got this. I got this. You need a babysitter? <laughs> I'm here for you now. Just so Cause you know. I need a paperweight. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh no. My, my vegetables in my garden aren't growing well. <laughs> Jesus. To pull uh, you from the dog's mouth. Yeah, Stop! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, if you couldn't tell, we're a pro-choice podcast. So. <laughs> Rabies babies. Yeah, it's we want Roe v. Wade. Ro- Roe v. Wade should come back, so we can have. <laughs> like know. I said to an audience member the other day, for no reason, I don't know what it means. I just went, "Look at you, you're all Roe, no Wade." <laughs> Yo, the that's crowd so laughed, and the lady uh, afterwards goes, "What? Well, I don't even know who the I don't know who the winning team is." <laughs> yeah, dude, is it Wade? Is it Roe? No, was it the girl? Is the guy? Yeah. Who knows? Was one of them the baby? Is like, it who? <laughs> why was Wade? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the dude was, why was he so lame about all this? Yeah. <laughs> Rose just like, I ain't having this shit. Yeah, you better yeah, find yeah. some stairs. <laughs> oh, oh, man, dude. <laughs> Waiting to exhale. That's the <laughs> <laughs> Ro versus Wade. That's my yeah. favorite combo. They were a good uh, comedy team. <laughs> there's Abbott and Costello. <laughs> Ro versus Wade. Spy versus Dean Spy. Martin and Jerry Lewis. And then there's Ro versus Wade. <laughs> Classic <laughs> duo. From the people that brought you Jason versus Freddy. It's Ro versus oh, Wade. They were an old vaudeville. Jesus came out with a big drunk. Alien versus Predator. What, we saw Wade. this in half. <laughs> I'm gonna saw this in half. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing on my sleeve. <laughs> the same uh, people who brought you. Who, who's Arbuckle? Did he kill a woman? Fatty <laughs> Arbuckle. Fatty Arbuckle. Arbuckle. Yeah, who yeah. also killed a woman. You're all fatty, no Arbuckle. Uh, That's my other one. <laughs> Shit, anyone listening who, did who he gets kill? that, yeah. cr- he allegedly he killed yeah. a woman. <laughs> like, and apparently that's been not proven to be not true. So. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes people kill people, then they say they didn't do it twice. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those. <laughs> Did you kill him? Oh, yeah, with a cone, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no fingerprints on cones. <laughs> Did you guys? Yeah. Did you guys ever watch Boardwalk Empire and? Or anything like old timey like gangster shit. You ever watch? I watched old timey yeah. gangster shit. I yeah. never saw Boardwalk. Anytime I watch that shit, I always think like you know me and my because honestly me and my because I sold weed and shit. So if I did that back then, all I think is like me and my boys would have. 
probably killed a few people who crossed us. You know what I mean? Like, just because you could back then. Life every, didn't matter as much. No. You know what I mean? Well, there was no way to prove it. Yeah, yeah there's no, we could just do it and be, they'd be like, we can't prove you did it because we can't find the bodies because we don't go digging in those marshes. Every time <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have our marsh shoes. <laughs> every time I watch old timey shit, yeah. I know it doesn't matter what area I'd have been the bitch. Like, I'm not tough in any era. So I wouldn't have been, so I'm not tough now, so I doubt it would have been tough then. Then, but I think things were worse then. So I think I would have, if I decided the, to sell weed now and no. this time, I would have done something back then. The, Someone would have smacked me in the face. I would have been called Scarface, <laughs> and I would have been hard. <laughs> I, they would have. Uh, That's they, my fantasy. I would have been the guy. I would've Where's been, that gay button? Face <laughs> <laughs> yeah. blind. No, 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 no. no. Oh my bad. That means you get. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but in reality, I probably would have like been like, I want to sell something and then got murdered. So, no. I think I would have just still been me. Yeah. <laughs> oh my I, god! I, I think I yeah. transcend time. I'm <laughs> yeah, but you'd be doing it all the time. <laughs> you know your problem is you're Johnny come lately. Well, I'll say it. Well, I'll say it. Well, I'll say it. I want my old time. He's foghorn leghorn. Oh man, dude! But yeah, that John Mulaney <laughs> bit. That was my favorite thing. He's like when the, the detective comes in and sees a pool of blood, oh, and he goes, yeah. "Oh, look at that! Gross!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, mop that up now. Back to my hunch. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Back then, like, yeah. you could just do whatever. Even now, as long as you just take away everyone's phone you yeah. can still do it so apparently like still statistically if they can't create a link between you and the victim and the you're gonna get away with it days yeah do you notice how serious Dave got in yeah. that? That was the first time. Dave's like, listen, statistically speaking, I can still get away with it. If you want to no, no, no. murder someone, you just don't have first to know First of all, them. fuck off, because you guys are safe. I clearly know you, so you're not I, You're not going to be the ones I choose. That's what they say. <laughs> but oh, now I'm man. thinking about playing He seemed like a nice neighbor. He used to teach <laughs> dance class and handle balls on TV. Oh, fuck, dude. That's Everyone uh, knew he was yeah. gay. Oh, God. <laughs> and then he killed. And, gays and I got kill. news for you. That means you're gay. Oddly enough... I you know, besides Ted Bundy, a lot of the serial killers are like gay or trans or stuff. The Why white is that ones oddly specifically. enough? Now, are, you, wait, are, you, uh, are you trying to yeah. say in this day and age, gays can't murder like regular people? Yeah, it's pretty transphobic. No, it's just, it's, just, it's just the thing they don't actually throw out there is like, hey, just so you know. <laughs> if that, you kill a trans person, can you get manslaughter? No, not, I'm not saying killing them. Like serial killers are used. They have. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Dave. That imagine, was good. Imagine getting that lawyer too, who's like yeah. arguing manslaughter, but not the case. Man. Just like why, man? <laughs> yeah. oh. Objection! Objection! Uh, man, man, why's it got to be manslaughter? Do you know their pronouns? Yeah. <laughs> Person who chopped their didn't chop their dick off and just wore a dress. Slaughter. Uh, slaughter. <laughs> I do like you uh. take the word manslaughter and then break it down. It's also man's laughter. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, ha, uh, you dude. did. Uh. <laughs> nah, man. Um, the fucking. But of course they're gay and all that stuff because like there's so much pent up rage in their lives. They treat like shit so much. Of course they're gonna fucking kill something. Man. I can't, yeah. I can't. I'm, I'm shocked when a successful it. white guy does it. It's yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing? You got it. Yeah, I'm, what, I'm what were you so mad at? Some yeah. serial killers. Like, I can't. Um, like, what's Ted his Bundy. name? Bundy, Bundy was a, 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 apparently him? straight. The Dahmer. But, um, Dahmer was, he was gay. John and, Wayne Gacy. Yeah, John Wayne Gacy was gay. Um, and a clown. And a clown. <laughs> um, Double whammy. He was a gay clown. I don't know if the Night Stalker was gay. Uh, Ed Gein, I don't know if Ed Gein was gay, but a lot of them you find out they were pro- they like again. statistically yeah. most men named Ed are gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ed words aren't gay. Eds are gay. Yeah. Huh. No. Who's your favorite serial killer? Uh, the Night I'm, Stalker. I've talked about this yes. on the podcast oh. before. Yeah. Which He's one was he? He was the one who terrorized LA, and they he would just walk into. He mainly killed women and, and all, honestly all types of people, but like mainly women, just because he would walk into anyone's house and just attack them and rape and you know, fuck them. I up. know There's who BTK so is. I BTK know about that guy. Yeah, they're that wild. Asian yeah, band. Dude. That's awesome. They're a boy band. <laughs> They're so good. They have dance moves. They remind me of like yeah, the, they remind yeah. me of a young Backstreet Boys. But they're are there any of them but killed themselves? Food? B- BTK worked no, for like one of them was gay. Oh, Which one? I'm surprised. No, not Backstreet Boys. I'm sorry. In sync. Oh, Lance Bass was talking the first about, gay to oh, go to that, space. Oh, oh B2K right. was not. gay. Yeah, the BTK they were not gay. Asians aren't gay. <laughs> well, also B- B2K was uh, Omarion when he was a kid, and everyone he's black. Yes. You know, and, and BK Broiler mm, was one of the greatest fish sandwiches. Relax. 
B- Stop hitting the, You mean BTS more... or whatever is the band, is the Korean yeah, band? Yeah, that was the yeah, joke yeah. I was doing. I didn't really think they were the... What's this one again? Real Talk. Real talk. <laughs> Why are you a look? child? <laughs> just, they're You're bright and they're Has funny. anyone else ever done this on your show? Yes, you a lot of people yeah, have wouldn't? gotten with the program, with the thing. Well, too bad it's not COVID anymore. Just stay away from that. Like, <laughs> why are you touching it? Do you know how many fucking people have touched that button? A lot. Do you know some Damn. Some people have He's right. Show? He's right. They are sluts. Um, He's had some AIDS people on his show. I have. I'd love we're to coming, we're coming to the end, so no worries, guys. Is that what you oh, say right? with the AIDS? <laughs> we're coming <laughs> to the <laughs> end. We're getting towards the end. <laughs> it's the Magic at Johnson part of the show. We're doing it. We cruise through, man. We're, we're at an app. You, we're, when you say we're coming to the end, do you have like a thing now yeah. where you're like, I asked uh, you one question. I actually, well, yeah, that was yeah, so good. Well, it is towards the end, so I will ask you guys this just because it is. I, I ask it when I'm like, I want to wrap up, but I also, it's a good 10-minute talk. Is... Uh, as I'm a movie guy, I love movies. I, I'm in, me and Pete are going to start our podcast up again at some point. We're just taking, you know, Pete's off, getting dick down. So I got to. <laughs> oh big, yeah, start with all the Asian. Yeah, yeah, he's crushing, dude. I no, saw no, all the pictures. I, By the way, I'm mad about one picture. What? Fucking, I've known Pete forever. Pete used to open for me, and I, I've taught Pete well in comedy what to do. He's wearing shorts oh, and a vest with no fucking him. shirt. And I, I wrote, "What uh, the fuck? Do I have to write another article, you I, asshole?" So I, I, but also I'm a big, yeah, no, for real, I'm a big. uh I, I don't care about the shorts on stage thing personally, but that's just me. Anyway, but a shirt I don't wear with no, shorts a vest in real with no life. Shirt? Uh, yeah. you know. A vest with no shirt on stage. I'm sure it with was your a, hairy tits hanging. I'm out. sure it was a certain type of show, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it, I know. It, it, it was called like the fruit cup. It said <laughs> it on the back of it. I'm not even I got news for you. That means yeah. you're gay. No, no, but, I, but Pete, I, if you're people, listening, I love you, man. No, and he, I'm happy for you. Who isn't happy? Who, is, who doesn't love Pete? And you know what? His if you don't. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, because. Pete, I always say that Pete, Pete and I uh, were. Da- I, I'm not dating her anymore. But we dated Asian people around the same time. We're both big fans of the Asians. Me too. Yeah. Not the hottest women of all the world. I, I don't even agree. Well, I, you're see, never. Where's the gay one? <laughs> Face blast. All right. That's who you think's the hottest. <laughs> I, black women have the no, best butt, like, oh, yeah. the best ass ever. Hell yeah. And the, I'm not an ass guy. No, I am, yeah. the legs and ass, but no. I like personality and conversation. Yeah. And there's nothing better than someone going, "Hello, <laughs> you like conversation." I was a little low, but all right, I like it. Yeah. The hottest women, the hottest women are Hispanic. Yeah, women, I'm Latino a big fan women. of Hispanic women. I, <sighs> my, okay, I'm but you're saying Hispanic, but like, say Latino. Yeah, Latina. Because Hispanic can mean like Bridgeport. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Latino can be attractive. <laughs> now, I, I mean, the Asian chick I dated, she was like, she's probably out of all of them is what like kind of Asian? Yeah. Chinese, so top yeah. tier, top nice. tier Asian. Exactly. That's top she tier ruled. Asian. Yeah. They are. Yeah. What they about are. like uh, Polynesian? That's the way to There's go. Like, somewhere it's down good there. underwear. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> if no, you can like, see it on the back of your drawers, it's not no, no, good. Like this is a true thing. Like if you talk to like the if you talk to <laughs> Asians, Polynesian blend. Yeah, the Asians. It's kind of like Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees. <laughs> <laughs> it was right and then like Korea, like they'll tell you this. It's fucked. Like I've. A personal experience. So it's it, Bobby Lee jokes about it all right. the time too. Where it's I'm literally kind of stealing. He it broke from up him. with his girl too. Yeah. Oh, he did. But they, yeah. Is what? Is it? So she's single. Hell yeah. Damn sluts. She's hanging out with Brendan Schaub right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. The worst. But by the way, the worst one's Cambodian. Like that head. Is insane. That's an insane head. Which ones are the Cambodian? Like You've I know they're them. from Cambodia. But yeah, well, they're from there. Anyway, is that, am I the only one that every time I hear Sri Lanka, I think it's a bunch of like. They uh, look like me. They're blonde hair, blue no, eyes. Like I they think sound like I always think Sri Lanka is like. Uh, I always hear like, "Oh yeah, Sri so yeah. Sri Lanka is a flavor of Asian, right? I thought it was. Uh, I always thought. I thought it's Middle Eastern. I That's why. I mean. Oh, really? I'm I'm not, I'm not was like, oh, is it where? Where the fuck's Black Hawk Down happen? Is that, I know. I watched Sierra Leone. Hawk Down. That's Sierra Leone. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, that's a fucking. You know, I grew up in uh, Chester, Connecticut. We only had regular mm. Hawk Down. We didn't have Black Hawk Down. <laughs> um, I hear it's nice. Speak, so speaking of movies, because I'm a movie guy. Uh, excuse me, it's African American Hawk Down. <laughs> Do you guys? Uh, what's the? What's a movie you've seen? You watched recently? It can be old. It could be a movie you've never seen. Just watched recently, but a movie you watched recently where you're like, I fucking this movie's dope. I fuck with it. I love it. Spiderhead. That movie ruled. And I did not think it was going to be good. Neither did I. What the hell is that? It's, it's uh, on fucking Netflix. Netflix. It's got Thor in it. It's yeah, fucking yeah. great. Chris Hemsworth. 
It's a sci-fi thriller. Oh, okay. I've seen that. It's a fun one because you think you know where it's going, and even though you do know where it's going, you don't realize exactly why it's going there. Yeah. And Hemsworth, this is the best role I've ever Uh, seen him in by far. Oh wait, hold on. Have you seen Bad Times at the El Royale? Yes, and I I love him in that too. But I I think he's more of a star, and he gets to be the star of that. He was a great player. He's a great villain in that. But that was also written really well. This not that this wasn't written well because like the two other leads, if you will, weren't that great. He kind of carried this one. No, he did. I, I actually didn't, I didn't mind any of the other actors in the movie, but Chris Hemsworth in Spiderhead, if you want to watch just a fucking great performance, it's him. And he's not even, he's he's sort of the bad, he's just the, inte- whatever you want to call it, he's the, he's the head scientist of the whole experiment going on. That's the only thing, like, I've actively avoided it because I'm tired of movies where the head scientist is also a model. He, like, that's, dude, he, I but, can't. But you the, find out kind of why. Yeah, and just, the way he talks <laughs> and acts and how he interacts with, his subjects is great, dude. It's very all right because he doesn't. He's the he is the antagonist of the movie, but he's like he's he also. It, it seems like he does care about them, but he's also. What is it when you're one of those scientists where you're like so into what you do that you just forget all the he's too autistic. Pa- he's way too autistic and passionate about his scientific shit, and that's he he portrays that so. And well. the soundtrack right. is dope. Cause it's a very like eighties nineties bass. He's like he. It's almost like he's got an American Psycho in him, where he's got to play certain music to kind of yeah. get into okay. this thing he's doing. And it's like they, they go levels where you don't think they're gonna go. And yeah. what I'm happy about the movie was it could have very easily Netflix could have just said let's make this a TV show and break it into parts because oh, it has yeah. the ability to do that and they would have ruined it. This was something you want to watch all in one fucking shot. Yeah, and like, you probably definitely can watch it I'm again. Have to watch it. I, I I don't want to watch it again because I like when I, I watch the movie once and I'm like I didn't see that coming and I don't like overthink. Yeah, yeah, I will. I watch movies later, unless I love. Yes. Like, the last movie I watched that I loved, I mean, that I can remember at least because it came out on Netflix again, is called The Gentleman. Did you see that? Yes. With no. Guy Ritchie movie. It's his new Guy Ritchie movie. Oh, okay, it's new yeah, gangster yeah, yeah. Okay, shit. Okay. That movie, I watched that yes, movie I did since see that. I've seen it, like, at least five or, I think, five times. I love that Is that, that Matthew, movie. Matthew McConaughey? Yes. Yeah, but oh, it's that also, was fucking great. And I'm going to say, because I never was a fan before. Best Hugh Grant. Yeah, you agree. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Because it's agreed. a scumbag. You got to be a yep. different character. Yep. Scumbag. Agreed. Fantastic. Not a yeah. not a charismatic yeah. lover boy. He was a yeah. scumbag. But everything yeah. was cast great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. McConaughey's girl was Charlie amazing. This like, been, everybody was great. This has been my bitch. I've been on this for months now. Like, there is no fucking excuse. Doesn't matter how small the role is. There's no excuse for bad actors. Like, they're. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, Stranger Things. The 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 younger sister of what's his name? The the black girl. She's a terrible. Actress. Yeah, she sucks, dude. She's fucking awful. But and you know she has right? pizzazz she for just, no yeah. reason. No, but she had the she had that fucking charisma and that you, you know that attitude you yeah. wanted when she was young, and then she grew older. It's not her it's fault. Not now working, she's trying yeah. to play a younger girl. Yeah. By I, the way, the, that show is cat. That I'm watching right now. I know you're doing movies, but I'm watching Sorry. Money Heist right now, and um, I'm watching the one from Spain. Like, so I'm wait, wait are you watching Money Heist or the serial killer one? Money Heist, the okay, because I, I couldn't get through Money Heist, and we'll get through that. Okay, but here's the reason why I had a problem with it. I love it, except for there's one woman that's casting Tokyo, who is the worst. I don't know if they wrote her this way or it's her but she's trying to be like this hero but it's written like you're a fucking asshole and same thing with Eleven in fucking Stranger Things it's the actresses I would yeah. think are taking some like liberties because you're like you're supposed to be this and stop being this like yeah. so the other mm-hmm. ones are shining like fucking Max is like the best fucking yeah, character in Stranger a, Things by stem. far yeah. but if she was playing the other character would she still be that thing right. so sometimes you're like is it the writing of it is it the way they're directing it but with these kids I think they get older and they show I'm going to own my shit and they let these mm. kids do that because they need them. You can't lose I, one now because they're part of a franchise. I I don't give a shit about Stranger Things. Like To me, the show has gotten weaker with every yeah. season. I actually like this latest season but I agree with you. But it, that's the thing is like I can't tell you I can't specifically other than my bitch about that actress like I've cared less with each yeah. season. Season one was great. The the latest season I liked, but the two between that made me... See, I'm kind of the opposite. Yeah. Season really? one, I fought through because uh-huh. I'm like, I like the nostalgia and everything, but it's just little kids playing D&D, and that was not me. Mm-hmm. And all the 80s things they liked, they didn't really like. Season two, when we started getting ball where we shit. got yeah, it yeah. now, now we're... In part, Will, worst. Will is the He's worst. The yeah, Finn Wolfhard is the ugliest. I've said this on my podcast. Yeah. 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 The ugliest human yeah. in the history of humans. Yeah. In the fact 
fact that people are treating him like TJ Maxx Chalamet is bullshit. <laughs> I'm tired of it. He might be well, a decent actor. I watched yeah. him buy shoes on a video and I was mad at myself. <laughs> him and uh, the kid, the older kid too, the kid who... Um, is the older brother of him? Yeah. Well, well, he sucks too. Like, yeah. He, oh my god. Suck. Yeah. He he's well, aged horribly too. He because I heard he also d- parties a lot in real life, and he well, can tell. He looks like it. Tell, but dude. that's the thing. Well, he dates Nancy do. in real life. <laughs> that's got to be interesting. She's got to be you know in real life. He dates. Up. They're all kind of dating each other in real life. I've, I've watched. So, if you watch my YouTube thing now, <laughs> I watch so much deep dive into this season because I fucking love the guy who played Eddie. Like yeah, yeah, yeah he he's he's the best part. He's the Agreed. best part. And Agreed. the dude, the dude who plays Vecna is a fucking good actor too, and he's cool as shit. And the fact that he actually really did do it, they didn't get a stunt dude to wear the thing, is dope. Oh, no eight shit. hours to do all that yeah, shit. So he's playing cool. both roles. Okay. And obviously, you've got uh, Matthew Modine, actors that I like yeah. that are younger, yeah, 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 yeah. and the guy who plays Hopper fucking yeah, makes his career. Crushed. That was the that his arc and um, like you said, Munson's arc was the best. Like our yeah, Munson, right. Eddie Munson. Okay. Out of all the stranger, newer Stranger character, Stranger Things characters they ever yeah. introduced was the one who I was like, yes, this guy you know, rules. Does this get anyone else? Uh, part of what was getting to me, and, and again, they were all good characters, but they just keep adding more and more to the cast. I'm like, I don't yeah. want to care about any more people. <laughs> no, that, and I think this last season, I think they're just going to, you know. They said there's it. no more. I'm yeah. actually watching. There's no more characters. They did this because they lost some, but they're going to break off more, and you okay. kind of need those groups, and okay. you needed some of them to develop it. Like, one of the best scenes of the season five, of season four so far is the simple fact that you've got Eddie and Chrissy in the woods, and as a guy growing up, when there was that, like, you're either a dirtbag or a nerd or a jock, mm-hmm. you never did that. Right. That made me uncomfortable as a kid. Like, when I was like, I'm here 47 going, oh, God, they can't be in the woods. Someone sees them. They're both fucked. Yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah. that was crazy. They, they, right. And those two uh, were both going to die? See, that's introspective. I'm glad you know, we talked about this. Cool. See, I'm glad we talked about this shit. I yeah. would have never thought. See, I figured that because you, the way they act in the show, but like hearing it from your perspective, it's like, because uh, I think, I think social got, suicide. Right. Without a doubt, you could never. Like the fact that, that the reason why that jock was getting so mad is not so much that he cared about her. It's just like the because, thought that uh, she yeah. would be near that yeah. guy. That fucking, and that, right. cult, and that cult shit was real. Yeah. I remember I, yep. my parents I, being like, that. don't listen to that music. Ozzy Osbourne burned right. the albums. Yep. He bites bats off heads. They, dude, when, heads off bats. dude, <laughs> when yeah, I right. was not. And this is 96, 94, whenever I was four to eight, whatever. I remember there being a Dungeons and Dragons cartoon and my grandparents like making sure I couldn't watch it because they were worried I was going to like kill one of my friends yeah, yeah. or something or sacrifice him or to some. And I, my mom, same shit. She's like, that game makes people hurt them. So I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Never. My dad was the same way with the sketch show Kids in the Hall. He goes, I heard heard one's gay. Stop it. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yeah. No, because that's the the D&D shit that that, when I, when the, in the show when they were like, oh, it's a cult and they're Satanists. I was like, this is the shit my fucking family was worried about. And just to go back to that bully, didn't he have the fucking most like. What? Not in, it wasn't a bad one, but it was like wasn't the most one off. Like oh, he's dead now, death. <laughs> Not to spoil oh. spoilers, but he literally just it, you forgot he was there for a second. Then the the he just gets ripped in half, and you're like oh, uh, yep, <laughs> yes. But also, I was happy it wasn't drawn out because oh, I you wanted made him sure, yeah. but you also made sure I didn't want to have any feelings for him at all. And right. if he had any other kind of death, you might have would have been. Yeah. That was one of those as the thing is just. I mean, at least I don't, I just don't want to spoil it, but like as it's happening, you're like, oh wait, did that just? Yeah, like, hell yeah. Like, I rewound it, and I was like, damn, he's fucking dead. There's no way. Did he- you hear how he prepared for that role? No, which is awesome. No. He watched young Tom Cruise oh, and just that's did. Tremendous. So when you watch it now, he's acting tremendous. like risky business Tom Cruise, which is fucking awesome. <clears throat> I thought you were gonna say he like went and watched like all the. The bullies from back in those <laughs> days, like yeah, yeah. Karate Kid and all that, because it's the same guy that that guy. They the are capturing yeah. like that kind of time yeah. in school. Those kids are old, if, well, they were, if they were alive today, like the real people, yeah. they'd be older than me. Mm. Well, so this is the thing with Stranger Things. Before I ask Dave, because remember thing. that's eighty six right now. What the ages there are? Oh. They're about four years older okay. than I. Oh, they'd be about oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fifty two. You said if those kids were alive today, they'd the, be able to make characters. Okay, okay. If they were real right. people. If they grew up, yeah. Is what you're that's yeah, what I. Sure. That's what I was. I was literally hearing like, no, they're they're the exact age they I are. I like today. watching it, and then when they get people from the eighties to be in it, I like to find out how old someone is by who who they think they are. So mm. when like Sean Astin's in it, and you see him, do you who do you think? Uh, so. I know he's from the Goonies. I also know him, but I know him as Sam. 
Samwise game. Right. Okay. Yeah. Some people know yeah. him as Rudy. 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 Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's yeah. all different ones. Yeah. There, so it's yeah. just funny who you know. Him exactly, as. dude. I, yeah. I needed to hear all of those to remember who Sam Ashton was. Oh, yeah. And that was a character that they did not, they were going to kill off in the second episode. He got fucked up. And they up. just yeah. kept pushing it back because people, they were they enjoyed him on cast. His death got oh, fucked no up. Kidding. His that, death was fucked up. The Duffers talked about that. They liked him so much. They, they he seems like a great guy. And they rewrite. He seems like a great guy. Yeah. Uh, it, it, he, it, he he also seems like it, it, ugh. he seems like someone who aged into his roles too because he's not yeah. a he's not an oh actor God. actor no. looking guy no. but he still is a good actor because well, getting back to what we're, we were joking around with the redoing you know uh, Forrest Gump, Gump. Oh, always Haley a full Joel circle. Osment like he <sighs> fucking Balloons. like he was yeah but like he's also still fucking short so like there's nothing Hollywood promotable about him yeah now. he just plays like nerds in yeah shit. he yeah. played like the goofball and entourage and he's and still shit. a phenomenal actor still good but like I, I think he won't get cast just because he just looks like yeah, Dude, exactly. yeah he won't be <laughs> he was so fuckable so. in yeah I'm like, <laughs> not that would, you'd hurt your back you hurt your back <laughs> trying to bring him to your lair you know what I mean <laughs> Wait, so... Um, but all the, that cast, with all the older actors, it's guys that are doing better now. Like, Wyona Ryder, when I remember her, she was a shoplifter and, yep. would, and do drugs with everybody, and now yep. she's like this great actress who's doing this. Paul Reiser was mad about you and yep. an okay comedian, yep. and now he's killing it. So a lot of them get, took this chance. I mean, yeah, when they come on later, but, but Mo Dean and guys like that, they didn't know this was going to be good. Paul Reiser they is... They just is, took it. Is, I, this last half of his career, he's been doing really well at just... Taking a bunch of different because he's in uh, he's in the boys, uh, Hell like yeah, and, dude. and what's funny about in the boys is like he's supposed to be this agent to the stars like yada yada yada, but he keeps telling stories about women he slept with and his house is decorated with pictures of him and celebrities and it's like these might actually be stories from his mm. life that Those he's might just be real throwing pictures. right exactly <laughs> and it's fucking tremendous. So Dave, just because Pat, yeah. Pat answered it and we went on a tangent about Stranger Things, but it was great. Uh, what yeah. is the thing you movie or whatever you've seen lately that you were like, yo, this movie rules. I, I love it. OK, I've been watching a bunch of like just trying to watch a shit ton of stuff. And I've been like, meh. So then I was like, let's see if I watch. I want to watch stuff I used to watch and see if it's still funny, if I liked it as much. Mm-hmm. And the last one that I was like, this is fucking tremendous, was the Blues Brothers, uh, the original one. So I just never liked it. Uh, see, I, I, I'm not saying it's the funniest movie. I like it as a movie. I don't like the yeah. musicals. Like, component I get that. Of it. But but that's yeah, it's a movie, but when people say it's I like. funny, I'm like, it's not. I never found the Blues Brothers characters funny. <laughs> Like doing a doing a cartwheel and fucking sitting jazz. I, I, liked I when don't the, care. Or my dad showed me the intro when I was younger, and I did laugh when the nun just starts smacking yeah. the shit yeah. out of them. They call her a penguin. That well, shit yeah, had me yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah. Part of the reason, and I'm trying to think of another example, but part of the reason that what I like about that era is they let you. They didn't. They let you get the joke. Like they, yes. they did it, and it wasn't. It wasn't exposition. It was they set up the situation. They let the actors do their thing, and that was it. They moved on to the next thing. It wasn't. Like, if you have to let me get the joke, then I don't. I, I should just get the joke. Exactly. So, you no, know, give me time to no, fucking figure out they, why Ray Charles is blind. I don't mean they, they give you time like they stare at the camera like ah. It was but, cultural appropriation, Dave. It was two white guys walking around telling they were black the whole fucking time. It was an odd movie. It is. It is one of those. It reminds me like. All right, so I appreciated I, the dancing. I'll, I'll say this too, because I it's a lot of Dan Roy, Dan Aykroyd's work. <laughs> Dan Roy, Dan, Dan Dan that's Roy. his ship name. <laughs> a lot of Dan Aykroyd's <laughs> himself material um, sh- movies are like this. Like, so I like Ghostbusters, I like both of them. Yep. But same thing. Like, I watch it and I go, I get where the humor is, but to me, like the Blues Brothers, it's well shot. Uh, it's got great well, cinem- cinematography. Whatever. It's it's a it's a it's a, uh, it's a part of. Cinema now, it's like it's in the files. You know what I mean. I like it. I but, like. Oh, sorry. Go sorry. Ahead. But my whole thing is like those movies. W- watching them now, like I, I more appreciate them for what they are. I don't get the humor the same way. Okay. Like, and, and I. It's, it's I, maybe it's pacing or something like that. I don't know what it is, but there's something missing when I watch those shits. I don't know what it is. There, it's always me, been that. Way. For me, part of it was it's it's. I, I loved it like when I was a kid that's the kind of shit my brothers watched so mm-hmm. I watched with them and I remember like I was too young to be watching it but I still loved it yeah. and then watching it as an adult way way later like oh yeah I I still enjoy this movie some of it's the it's it's I remember you know I remember liking it so there's that oh I still like it right. but there's also like 
the way it's shot, the way it's made, it's it's made like a it's a made a good movie. I watched fucking Dicky Roberts Child Star. Mm. Oh my god. Which I've actually yeah, never seen that. Which no, I would have rather if choice was kill self <laughs> or watch that or watch Dicky Roberts Dude, Child Star. That was literally the choice. So I went <laughs> with that. Yourself. Yeah. Hindsight 2020. I could have talked more. But the <laughs> But the difference is in that movie it's like there was no it was a shoestring plot, a piece of shit, just to get from one gag to the next, as opposed to a movie that was written as a movie True. that's funny. So that's, that's what, what I, I like. I'll give about you that because that that's what I mean. Those movies, they're funny movies. Yeah. Again, maybe the jokes don't hold up. That's why Blues Brothers, I think, is a little hit or miss. But cinema, like, well shot, well directed. All the actors do their part. They're all. To, it's all the talent is there. Everything worked. So I see why they stand the test of time. Having said that, I also understand why, like, I'm, you know, I'll pass. See, I, don't I wouldn't watch Blues I don't Brothers think they pass anytime soon. I think if you show it to a kid, a kid is like 15 years old, he's going to be like, fuck this. Yeah, which, no, I don't which, think it holds up. I, I mean, totally Ghostbusters, I, I did not like any of the Ghostbusters except for the newest one. I've heard the, the newest, newest one's decent. Really yeah. good. I, because the newest one was the first time where I actually gave a fuck about, about all the stuff going on and the fact that, like, and also, I'm not an Aykroyd guy. Fair. Okay. Neither am I. You know yeah. I mean? and, and, uh, so I'm not a big I'm fan of him. I'm barely a Bill Murray guy. I'll they, be yeah, honest. Yeah. Yeah, same here. And I, I don't understand been, his appeal. And Over some the of the years, movies I really he's don't. in. Yes, I've appreciated kind of Same. how he acted in it. But I yep. love Wes Anderson. I yep. don't love Bill Murray. Same. Dude, mm. I've ne- I've never had anyone... People who like Bill Murray and they talk about him, I'm like, when they talk about him, they're just like, I think he's so funny. And I, I, I've watched his movies. Even What About Bob? I like that movie and everything. But I, at the end, I'm like, I don't understand what the appeal was about this. I don't understand how millions of people watch this and were like, Bill Murray's our guy. I just don't, I don't get it. I feel the same way about Will Ferrell, though, but that's also just me. I've never found him funny. I understand that. But I get why people do. Mm. Same same thing with Bill Bill Murray. I'll say that about Bill Murray, too. I, I, not, I'm not. I just don't understand his mass appeal, but I do understand why people like him. So again, I See, like some I of his movies. I, I'm listening and I'm nodding because I I am a Bill Murray guy, but I can't tell you why. Okay, I honestly right, can't. Like when I watch him, I enjoy it, and I'm like, but yeah, I get your point. And that's the same thing with the test of time thing. I, I totally get that. My my biggest point is the fact that some of the old, some not all, but some movies, uh, old comedy movies, just. They're written as a movie, not like the story makes sense. The plot makes sense. It's not like joke, change scene, joke, change scene. Let's do this. Well, I, don't like that. I like that. I mean, but I love all early Adam Sandler movies because they literally are. It's they, funny, yeah. but there really is a plot. It's right. simple. Oh, right. Happy they, Gilmore is the yes, best. They bring, so is Billy Madison. Here's our yep. simple plot. He's yep. rich. He has to yep. go through school again, and he has goofy yeah. friends, and here you go. It's simple, but it's fun. Like, when you take an act, like, I don't like Bill Murray, but I love comedy. But if you ask me, like, gun to my head, who do I want to watch in a movie all the time? Right now, I watch anything Ben Affleck, and I really? enjoy everything he's in. And I go back, the more I watch his shit. Yeah, like, ben Affleck you know how rules. good the accountant is? Like, how fucking it's good fucking of a movie dude, that is, and how movie. amazing. Argo, how... Incredible! That's how movie. Yeah. The town, bro. Yeah, the town is amazing. He's, but he's also in comedies. You go back to Kevin Smith shit. He's great in that. Yep. Batman. He was not bad in Batman. People give him shit. He did the best he my could with that year. Batman, what my do? bitch with Batman was not Ben Affleck. It was the way they wrote the Batman yeah, character. Too. Like they, it was a and piece that, of shit. I hated those those versions of yeah. those DC movies. Yeah, uh, I, I like I mean, this. Good Will Hunting. Yeah. You yep. give me yeah. anything. There's no thing with Ben Affleck right, where I can't fair. watch and enjoy. He's I, good in everything. I feel the same. What? Uh, Julie. If, if that's his shittiest thing where he gets to have sex with Jennifer <laughs> Lopez, then okay, I'll take yeah. that as my shitty day. Yeah. That's uh, a Puerto okay. Rican I can okay. stand by. Okay, how about... Uh... <laughs> 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 how about how about his daredevil? You know what? Um, I as a kid, I liked it, and it doesn't hold up. But he he actually plays a good Matt Murdock. But it's you know, I actually think the best Matt Murdock the is, is the, the new one. The yeah, the, Charlie Cox rock they crushes fucking, it. But that also that show they they did a great the job three, with it. That yep. I hope I can't, I don't even want to see what Disney does because those yeah, first three seasons suck. were 
Well, the problem well. with Daredevil, go, Ben Affleck's Daredevil, is that it came out before we went to dark comics. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So before going into the world of Batman and going, what became the Avengers, and where Marvel and DC really went hard and made it for adults, but kids can also see it, Daredevil wasn't really wasn't that. For, okay. They tried to do it, but those actors at that time, Jennifer Garner was decent as Alias. She couldn't pull yeah. off Electra, mm. And then the fucking guy with the overbite and the weird eyes from fucking... Michael Clark Duncan? Order? He, no, not Michael <laughs> Oh, wait, yo, he was it. He was the Kingpin. I was yeah. confusing because that was the one in the other one, Kingpin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, made yeah. Kingpin yeah. black. Yeah. yeah. Which I had no problem with. He was I, Chick Kingpin. For some reason, I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I actually really liked Michael Clark Duncan as Kingpin, but I... I that one did bo- not bother me at the time. I just tilted my head and was like, he's all right. Whatever. Yeah. I also well, knew nothing about Daredevil. Yeah. Neither to be did fair, I, I know time, so man. much. Yeah. But now the fact that everything else came out, you can now have so much more access to everything. That mm-hmm. when I was growing up, if you liked comic books, you, once again, nerd, dork, and you were going to yeah, get made real. fun of. And even if you wanted that interest, you were kind of afraid of doing that. You were in a day and age where it's fucking cool. Mm-hmm. I watch, I read all the graphic novels when my kids were growing up. Mm-hmm. And I learned that so I could go all the movies. I learned everything about yeah. Iron Man and Captain Marvel and all that fucking Spider-Man. shit in Civil War and all that shit from them. You know, by, by reading the book so they can get to know it. But, like, I didn't know anything about it then. But th- if I go back and watch it, I'm still going to enjoy- I'll be like, oh, it's Ben Affleck being in this. Yeah. I like him in that. I like Leonardo DiCaprio. There's certain actors DiCaprio, I can watch them yeah, be whatever yeah, and yeah. stuff. Same. Well. Especially when he says the N-word. He's still good at it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Which one, DiCaprio or oh, Ben Affleck? I don't think I don't like when he says it in bed. <laughs> How do you oh, know? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Oates pants over here. Up. <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh, we'll probably wrap it here. That's really how I do it. Um, do you guys have anything to plug? Shows? Instagram? Dave, I'll let you just say no, and then I'll do mine. <laughs> yeah. It, I, <laughs> any social media? No, I have a show this time. I'm actually going to be in, in... You don't even know when this is coming out. It's this well, Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to be doing a show in uh, uh, Wallingford. Oh, nice. On Thursday. For the <laughs> Well, kind of. It's a private show at a country club. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> That's when I first performed for the clan. Because there's, I didn't know it. There's actually so what a, were the other there's, times? there's a clan every other night. Um, <laughs> there's a clan chapter uh, in Wallingford, Connecticut. In my first year doing comedy, I had to do a country club, and as I was on stage, and I made a joke about I, there was they were all just white and racist looking, and I'm bald, so I said it looks like a Hitler Youth rally, and they laughed way harder and applauded. So at one point, I made a joke, and a guy yelled out, you're not saying the N-word. guy yelled at And I said, of course not. Wow. And he goes, come on. I go, Wait, Jesus what? Christ. <laughs> and I go, I go, what are you, the Klan? And the guy goes, yeah. <laughs> and I go, can I get paid cash? Because I don't want a check that says the Klan. <laughs> but I will do my time. That's I'm a professional. So, it's like, <laughs> so you're doing a show for the Klan in Wallingford Wind? Apparently. Uh, this Thursday? Where? At uh, the Wallingford Country Club. That's not what it's called. What's it called? I don't know. They have a couple country clubs. They're not one of them. Yes. That. I, I got it. I don't know. I got to check. Anyway, good good, good you push. you have an Instagram or anything? <laughs> no. Okay. It's fine. Just check out my podcast, the POS podcast. Alex has been on before. Yeah, it's yeah, a lot it's of fun. fun. Be my uh, co-host, Bobby Tamburo. We take stories in the that are happening in the world, and we find who the POS is in those stories. So check that out. You can find it on YouTube, POS podcast, or go to our Patreon. You get an extra episode every week. Uh, POS podcast uh, on Patreon. I just thought of one. Mm-hmm. You, you can check me out on Pat's podcast every now and again. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Sometimes they, you I can was watch Dave drive me to a gig soon. <laughs> Hell yeah! Um, and yeah, anyone listening, uh, you know me. Follow me at Silly Selly on Instagram. All S's, no spaces. I at the end. I also follow the podcast. Uh, Pod, the podcast Instagram. It's Yes Offense Podcast on Instagram. Um, I will be at the doing a show at the Elbow Room, July thirtieth. Uh, it's a Saturday night. Just, just doors open at seven thirty. Show at eight. Robbie the Fire Bernstein's on it. Andy Malfarina's headlining. It's gonna be a great show. I want to tell anyone listening to this: out, Andy Malfarina is fucking it's hysterical. Fucking Their podcast, Pains and Mouth, is amazing. Yeah. I've had Andy on my podcast a couple times. And Lamar Lee, dude, you people booking thing again. You're bringing awesome comics who aren't in Connecticut yet Thank here, you. so people need to check them out. But if you want to see a hilarious, Robbie's great. That lineup's great. Thank but you. Andy's a beast. He Go really watch is, Andy. dude. He, he's funny. Andy. So one time for Rob, Andy did it. We did a backyard show, and my dad was taking pictures. And Andy just ripped into my dad because he was like mad close to him. And he's like, yeah. You took it fucking pictures of me, bro. I don't fucking like it. And just, <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was one of the funniest things I ever seen. Anyway, that, that he rules. So if you want to see an awesome show, go watch that yeah, show. Yeah, so that show is going to be, guys, that's at the Elbow Room July 30th. Please come out to that. I'm trying to 
pack that room out. Um, I'll have other shows coming up before then. Oh, I'm also... Shout out to Patrick McKinstry for booking me. Uh, when this comes out, I should be... It's either that Thursday. It, it might be tonight when you hear this, but uh, I'll be with Patrick McKinstry on a show out in some town. Hold on, I forgot. Already. Shout out to anyway. Pat McKinstry because I didn't realize we weren't Facebook friends anymore. Aww. And I posted something up and he just writes underneath, this is when you find out Pat Oates is not your friend on Facebook anymore. Aww. That made me sad. And I'm, I, I'm pretty sure he dropped me. He's saying I dropped him. Oh. But fuck that. We're friends again. It's in uh, Jewett City at Prost. <laughs> <laughs> the beer and music hall. So that's going to be fun. And then... I am also shit. Oh, I'm, I'm August twelfth. I'm doing a show with Ish Gupta at his new spot. So that's gonna be He's fun. He's got a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend, guys. <laughs> Ish is fucking funny and a great writer. Dude. Yeah, I he fucking rules. love that guy. I He's love a great that guy dude. too. Ex roommate, love him still. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, come check me out. Uh, if you guys listen to the podcast, go subscribe on YouTube. Go on iTunes, leave a review. Just tell people about it, man. That's the only way I can get people to listen. Anyone out there, a young movie maker who wants to help me make Forrest Gump 2 after AIDS, I'm listening. I, I don't even need a Hell budget. Yeah. I'm just there with a dream. Hell yeah, guys. So, yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, check these guys out. And I'll catch you fucking next time, you fucking nerds. Peace.